and it's not taking a charge. I put a new battery in it that was fully charged and that was fine and tried charging it and even with the new battery and it wasn't charging. So the problem is this little piece right here. I've ordered a new part. Came in there. I've taken the battery out. If you don't know how to do that, then you should probably check out some of my other videos. And now I'm taking the, the flex port off. You have to unplug all of these. You'll notice a bracket when you open up your tablet. Just unscrew it and there's a little bit of tape holding it down there. Be careful prying up. There are two more screws to remove and then we can remove the port. With the smaller screws, sometimes it helps to have a little piece of tape off to the side like a painter's tape so that you can stick the screws on there so that you won't lose any of them. Make sure that the flex cables are all up and just pop it off. So I'm going to remove the bracket from the old board and just need to pry it up a little bit because they have taped it down. But once it's pried up, there's nothing holding it down. You can just slip it back into the slot on the other board. Put some mastic on there so it'll stick and you can put the flex cables back on the new board. Screw everything back into place. Try to make sure that you use the, the same screws that you took out because they are different lengths. The black screws go on the, on the port. But there should be a black screw usually for the bracket, but I'm using a silver one. Reinstall the battery. Make sure that that is secured, screw it into place, and then turn on the tablet. Now as long as it boots up completely, you know you've got a good board. It should also take a charge. If not, you still need to troubleshoot your board. Check out my other tutorial.